Hello, this is Jamie from randomizeduser.com with our latest look at Savage Lands. Uh, now this will be a fairly short video about update number 9, which adds some new camps to the game, achievements, and new easter eggs. But we're mostly here to talk about sconces. Yes, sconces. The well-known word. <laughs> yeah, so what they are is indoor torches, and they've finally got some interior lighting going on, um, which is this thing right here. As you can see, you don't craft it, you don't do it from your crafting menu, and you don't do it from your uh, buildy buildy menu, official term. Yeah, they, they basically already exist in the world, a bit like campfires, but on a wall and that. Um, but yeah, you can't craft them yourself as far as I can tell. They exist on some of uh, the pre-existing structures. In Argo, what they've done, what the developers did, is basically bung them into random houses that already exist. So they're not everywhere. There's one in the town hall in Argo, um, and there's, there's, I think there's one more somewhere in one of these houses. Da, da, da. This one doesn't have one, you can just check every single wall. Uh, there's one over here. Was this the one? This might have been the other one. Yeah, here you go. That one's on the back wall. And as you can see, it basically um, demands that you put something into them. Um, in this case, flint, uh, cloth shreds, and coal. Do, 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 do. Lads! Finally! Look at this! Warm and toasty! Okay, I've been staring at this for a while now. And now I can re-add components. Once it's burnt down from its initial state, um, yeah, then you're allowed to put more material back into it and restock it. But yeah, that took about, um, just to get down to this, to decay down to needing more material, it probably took, um, it took a good minute or so. So this torch is going to not, certainly not last forever. Um, it's going to burn down fairly quickly. Okay, and um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over to the monolith, um, because that's where I've got some of my pre-built structures, and I can show you what happens when you build your own structure and want to light that up as well. Well, um, I loaded up the wrong save. Um, <laughs> yeah. Edit this out. Quickly hides load game menu. Right, so I've walked across the island to Monolithville now. And this is, this, this is these two structures right here are ones that I built. Um, and since the last update, they have actually indeed gained a wall sconce. Or torch, whatever you want to call it. So, just going to quickly... I'm just going to... God damn it, I've run out of cloth threads. Oh, why... Oh, I think the one thing I don't have in any of these chests is cloth bleeding shreds. Actually, in lieu of any skeletons being around, um, yep, here we go. Uh, cloth shreds. That was nice. And oh, piss off. <laughs> cloth shreds for the lads. Um, I got from Sunder Cotton. And there we go. So, my already built structure that I built myself um, already has one of the sconces inside. I mean, in fact, I think every time you build a new one, that's what happens. Let's just go over to my weirdly compromised um, thing over here and... As you can see, in the total darkness, there's also a wall sconce there, ready to be activated. So even if it's totally dark and you can't see, you'll know where to add all the equipment. Which is nice! I'm just going to run away from this bloody wolf. <laughs> okay, so I think it might be useful just to actually build a new house, because I want to extend Monolithville for the first time in ages. Today, two buildings. Tomorrow, it's basically going to look like New York City. But in Savage Lands, it's going to be amazing. And I'll show you that once once you've actually built a new building, um, a wall sconce will just be there. You don't have to do any more crafting or weird stuff to actually get um, it all in place. I'm just going to um, light that up. Oh, Jesus, that's... No, that not all... Oh. No, I... Fuck me, it's just it's spread to all the trees. I was, I was trying to light one tree up so I could actually chop all the other trees down without... Well, so I could actually see. Um, yeah, the whole forest is on fire. Fire! Bloody hell! Okay. Oh god! Oh! Oh no! Oh god, everything's... Oh! <laughs> the trees are tumbling left, right and centre! <laughs> oh, that's handy then! I don't actually have to chop them. Excellent! There we go, let's just um, pick all this stuff up. Oh, that's charcoal! Oh yeah! Um, if you if you actually chop a burnt tree down, you get charcoal. Charcoal is fairly useless at the moment, but in future updates it'll do stuff, and everything will be groovy and grand. Right, so I'm just going to chop a few more trees down, and then I'm going to go and build my wooden shack. Hooray! Right, so I've gathered the required materials. Um, but first, I'm just going to point this out. 
look, you can um, you can access the sconces from the wrong side of the wall, and in, in fact add stuff to it like that. Notch, fix your game! <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to come over here. Uh, where is it? Um, do, 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 do. There. Wooden shack. Uh, I'm going to put it there. Let's let's make it... Actually, let's make it so the door faces the monolith. There we go. Do, 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 I've got lots of wood. Come on. Fill it up. Fill it up. Do, 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 do. Good bit of building for the lads. Oh, I appear to be freezing to death. <laughs> Slightly awkward. Well, thank God I've built a lovely little house then. Right. Get my torch up. Let's go indoors. And hey, presto. Um, one wall sconce comes with a house. No extra cost. So it's just like that. And there we go. A lovely little torch on the wall for you. Delicious sconce. Alright, it's probably time to wrap up now. Um, there's a couple of more things in this update which I might as well show you whilst I'm on. <laughs> whilst I'm going to the effort of doing this. If you look in your um, journal, um, this is always a good place to find interesting new things that they might put in sooner or later. Now, so just let me just go through. Where was it? Um, the beastie is um, still unlocked, um, as from the previous update. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da, anything in here? Yes, here we go. Look at this. In the weapons section, there's these things locked. Um, no idea what they do, but presumably they're teasing us. A blooded head, and decapitated head, and severed head. All of these things are supposed to be weapons, so God only knows what that's what's going on there. The only other thing I'll mention in this update is that some um, village spawners, so the ones you know, the um, you know how how in in, in villages um, huts tend to spawn things every so often. Well, um, uh, depending on what town you're in now, um, there's going to be um, different. Um, Spawn. So, like when I, I went up to Tillion, um, which is the the village on the southwest coast, um, and discovered um, in one of the houses it was um, just giving away free. Um, I think it was um, uh, wolf skin or something like that. Whereas if you go to Argo, you tend to find things like flint and bandages. So yes, I mean the towns are developing their own ill personalities even more so than before, which is nice to see. Okay, so I'll wrap up. Um, thanks for watching. I think I'll go back up on the roof again because I like it on the roof. Um, so thanks for watching, this has been Randomised User. Subscribe to the channel for more updates on Savage Lands and lots more besides. And I'll see you next time, unless I freeze to death first. <laughs>